On behalf of Peyton and David today, they'd like to say thank you for being their special guest on this very special day. They both know and understand that marriage is a divine appointment. When we hear those words, divine appointment, it stops and makes us think that God did something just special for us. That's exactly what he's done today. Today, David and Peyton, you have come to unite in the sacred ties of matrimony. Marriage is sacred, it's divine as we just shared, because it's the most blessed institute ever created, because it's given from God himself. Ephesians says in chapter five, that you are submit to one another. That's a beautiful truth from Scripture. To understand the spiritual principle of submission to one another, it first has to be exercised in your life spiritually. So it's not a problem. We submit our heart and our life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Understand that submit to one another is a natural flow out of that relationship. Do you, David, have this woman Peyton whose hand you hold? To be your wedded wife, as Solomon promised, that you will fulfill your obligations as her husband to love her, to lead her, to honor her, to bless her and cherish her in adversity as well as prosperity and be faithful unto her alone as long as you both shall live. Do you, Peyton, have this man, David, whose hand you hold to be your wedded husband, Solomon promise? You'll be unto him a tender, a loving, a virtuous, capable wife, and faithful unto him as long as you both shall live. I do. Her. Hi, David. Hi, David. Give this ring to you, Peyton. Give this ring to you, Peyton. By this act, Declare in the presence of the Father, Declare the presence of the Father, and these witnesses, and these witnesses, that I take you, that I take you, to be my beloved one, to be my beloved one, and I will be unto you, and I will be unto you, a faithful husband, a faithful husband, until death shall part, until death shall part. I, Peyton, I, Peyton, give this ring to you, David, give this ring to you, David, and thus declare in the presence of our Father, and thus declare in the presence of our Father, that these witnesses. These that you are the husband of my choice. That you are the husband of my choice. And I'll be faithful to you. And I'll be faithful to until you. death shall part us. Until death shall part us. I, as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, legally authorized to do so by the state of Arkansas, pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> Peyton, God's word says for you as a wife, you are to submit to the Lord. And submitting to the Lord, you are able to love your husband, David, humbly. You are to be true and good to him in all ways and all times. And I love this truth. You are to dress yourself with strength and walk in the fear of the Lord. David, God's Word has some very explicit instruction for us as men to be the spiritual leader of the home, not to be in control, but to lead by example in all that you do. That can only be done in submission to the Father. It says you're to love Peyton unconditionally, meaning with no strings attached, selflessly, sacrificially. You're to live each day truthfully and honestly before her. There's only one way you can possibly do that. You're to bless her, to cherish her, and to cover her with unfailing care.